Hey guys, how's it going? So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to solve a linear system of equations using Python. So in my previous video, I already showed you guys how to, you know, perform matrix operations using the SciPy library within Python as well as the NumPy library to, you know, um, define matrices. So in this tutorial, um, we will also be using SciPy as well as NumPy to solve a linear system of equations and also um, in one of my older videos, I've already showed you guys how to install Python as well as these libraries So you can refer to that if you are new and you don't know how to get started with all this Python and SciPy stuff But in case you already have SciPy installed and as well as NumPy then you can you know continue with this tutorial So let's say we want to solve this linear system of equations such as this one So we'll be using this example for our tutorial and um, so as you can see it is a system of three equations and as well as three variables so and also we already have the solution in the wikipedia page which is minus 15 a2 so it would be a good starting point for us so coming back uh, to our code so the first thing we need to do is we need to import um, numpy because we'll be using numpy to define the arrays and secondly um, we'll be sorry yeah secondly and secondly um, we'll be using um, SciPy and, and more specifically we'll be using the um, linl library or module from SciPy so we'll write from SciPy import linl so that is the you know module for linear algebra operations within SciPy and then um, sorry it should be numpy not nump okay and then what we'll be doing is we'll be creating a matrix or rather two matrices so the first matrix would be a matrix of the coefficients on the left hand side so it will look something like this so here is the matrix of the coefficients so 1 3 2 1 3 2 3 5 4 3 5 4 minus 2 6 3 and minus 2 6 3 so we'll create one matrix which will contain the coefficients on the left hand side and we'll create another matrix or rather a you know vector which will be containing the values on the RHS so let's go ahead and do that by using a is equal to so a would be you know our LHS coefficient matrix so a equals np dot array and I've already showed you guys how to define a matrix in the previous tutorial so you just put parentheses and then square brackets and then another set of square brackets for the row elements so we have the row elements as 1 3 minus 2 so we'll write 1 3 and then minus 2 and then close the square bracket comma and then another set of square brackets and within those we have 3 um, 5 6 so 3 5 6 and then another set of square brackets and within those we have 2 4 3 so that is the you know matrix for the left hand side or the coefficient matrix and we can also check it out by quickly going ahead and printing it so just go ahead and type in python3 and then the name of your file so in my case I have called it linsolve.py so I've saved it by that name so we'll go ahead and quickly try to run it um, by giving this python3 lin sorry solve.py so here uh, okay so I forgot to put a comma over here all right coming back so now you can see that uh, our matrix is correctly declared or rather defined so 1 3 minus 2 3 5 6 2 4 3 so that is the left hand side coefficient matrix and then we have the you know RHS matrix which would be np dot array and then square brackets and then within those we have another set of square brackets and then we have 5 comma 7 comma 8 but also um, you know this should be like a column and this way we are defining a row mat single row matrix so what we will do next is we will uh, you know transpose b by giving the command b equals b dot t so that would you know transpose b for us and then what we'll do is we will also check if b is correctly defined or not by giving the command print b and then trying to run the program again and no um sorry oh okay so i wrote array wrong over there 
so I made a spelling mistake and now yeah so now you can see that B is in fact you know a column matrix rather than a single row matrix because we want B to be a column matrix because um, you know it looks like this so now that the matrices are correctly defined we can easily solve the system of equations by giving the command um, linalg dot solve and then within parentheses we will give the first parameter that is the LHS coefficient matrix and then the RHS column vector so linalg dot solve so basically you know linalg module within the scipy package has a solve function which can take in as the arguments the first one should be the LHS coefficient matrix the second one the you know RHS column vector and let's also just make it equal to X so X would be the solution um, you know of the linear system of equations so let's just go ahead and print it print X and see what happens so coming back to the terminal Python 3 and solve pi and here is the solution minus 15 a2 is it correct or not so as you can see on the Wikipedia page the solution is in fact minus 15 a2 so here it is so first the coefficient matrix, second column vector on the RHS, and then the solution. So that is it. That is how you solve a linear system of equations using Python and the libraries SciPy and NumPy. NumPy is basically for initializing the arrays and then SciPy for providing us with the necessary functions. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new from it. And in case you did, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and have a great day.